What's up guys, John from Pooplot.com coming to you from a very high place down at the farm. So I'm in a man lift about 45 feet off the ground right now, just because I could. And uh, I was like, why not do a little intro? So uh, welcome to an on the farm video. How's everybody doing? Do appreciate y'all watching. What's up guys, John the voiceover guy here. So this is going back a little bit in time in the day. You can tell the sun's at a higher angle behind a cloud right now. Um, getting in the lift for the first time. Talking over to Dad, kind of our game plan. So what our problem has been, we've had an, an electrical issue in our big shed. And we thought we identified the problem up on our main pole outside. The problem has been that our lights are flickering and flashing, I guess you could say. And at some points in time, it'll like, some of the lights will dim in the building. And then we've been testing the outlets with a voltometer. And... Some of the outlets are going to 160 volts, and some of the outlets are going to 85 volts. Now, if you guys don't know, they should be at 110 volts consistently, or right around there. So this is the main electric pole, and uh, there's the wire that goes to the, over to the big shed. Our electric wire is actually coming underground from the main feed um, out by the field, kind of. And we put them in underground a few years ago for YOLO reasons and stuff. So they come out of the ground and then they go through a 200 amp disconnect. So everything is turned off right now. Obviously I wouldn't be touching it if it was not turned off. But it is completely turned off and completely safe to touch as long as it is turned off. If it wouldn't be turned off there would be 200 amps of electricity going through those two black wires, 100 amps in each wire. And if you had a spot with bad insulation or something you would get fried. So I don't really want to mess with that. So just turn it off, it's safe, it's easy. So what we're trying to do is put a jumper wire on because we thought we identified a bad spot in the common or the ground or whatever, the third wire, whatever you want to call it. So I'm putting the jumper wire in and, and I actually cut out part of the old wire and it didn't really seem to fix the problem unfortunately. Our lights are still flashing in the shed and I, I guess our outlets are still doing what they were doing. I haven't tested them since it happened or since I did this. So you can see there I'm just putting another common or ground, it's basically the same thing. Patching in a wire on it and uh, I think we're going to look at getting a new piece of triplex which is the, the three wires braided together that runs over to the big shed. I think we're going to look at getting a new piece of that, um, slightly heavier gauge and uh, hopefully that'll fix our issue but uh, you never know. So We're going to keep messing with it until we get it figured out because it is kind of weird. Um, the, the weirdest part is our electric bill down there has been just through the roof here lately in the last couple months. Um, a normal electric bill should be around $25. I think we had one that was in the 90s, I think $90, and uh, that's just ridiculous. So we need to keep figuring it out and uh, try to actually pinpoint what the problem is so that uh, we don't have such high electric bills down there because we really don't use that much power down there. Um, you know, if we have a project coming up where we're sandblasting or welding, you know, yeah, you use a little more, but we're not down there enough to have a $90 electric bill, so that's just silly. And we did figure out that uh, some lights were left on in one of the other buildings. Uh, we don't actually know for how long, so that was part of that big electric bill, I think, so. We have since turned those off, but uh, you know, stuff happens. You go in a shed during the day and you flip the lights on, and then when you leave, you just forget to turn them off. It happens from time to time, so, you know, whatever. So you can see here, I'm just putting another clamp on the wire, kind of on the other end to patch the two ends together, and just trying to make as good of a connection as possible. So then while I was up in the lift, I decided to go up a little higher, up to about 45 feet, because that's how high the lift goes, and take some pictures. So just some different pictures of the farm. Um, hi, there's my shadow. Just some different pictures of the farm. I thought it was kind of cool. So there's the garden part of it. Um, and there's the base of the lift. I thought that was kind of an interesting shot. And uh, Dad was out cutting the grass on the lawnmower. Obviously on the lawnmower. What else would you use to cut the grass, right? So there's kind of the roof line of the big shed. That was built in 1918, those deep parts there. 
So now we're going to transition to some video of the entire garden. So out front there is where the garden starts, obviously. Those are our pumpkins. And as you go back to the right, they get bigger and bigger because they were planted a little bit earlier. We plant our pumpkins kind of in stages so that it's not too much work for us all at once. And you can see as you come around, you can see the cantaloupe, the sweet potatoes, strawberries, what's left of the corn patch, um, all that right there. So Dad has actually planted some turnips this year as we grow pretty much every year. So we will follow the journey of the turnips as it continues. Thanks y'all for watching the on the farm video for today. I do appreciate it. Be sure to hit that like button for more. I would do this, but it's kind of scary and freaky and shaky up here a little bit. So I'm going to hold on with one of my hands now. Hit that like button for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Toodles.